Hey everybody, Scott Sachs from Washington, D.C. Today I'll be discussing tax advantages of home ownership. Hey everybody, Scott Sachs from Washington, D.C. It is tax time, which means freak out, get anxious, and pay Uncle Sam his money. But I'm here to tell you that there, as a homeowner, there are wonderful advantages that you can take advantage of to limit your tax liability. Um, and this is even good for people who are renting now and will be first time home buyers. This is important information. So my disclaimer, I am not a tax professional. However, I bought and sold many, many times. And so I'm very proficient with a lot of this information. So number one, when you go to sell a principal residence as a single individual, you can claim up to $250,000 tax free. Really nice. As a married couple or partnership, you can claim up to $500,000 tax free. This is a really nice bonus to a long-term investment and taking advantage of that appreciation over time. But the most important tax advantage of home ownership is the interest and in tax deduction, real estate tax deduction you get on a monthly and annualized basis so that you can claim that against your income every year this time in April. So what does that really look like? Well, let's take an example. Let's say you owned a property that was worth $600,000 and you put 20% down on that property at 4.25% or four and a quarter percent interest. Your annual interest paid in the first year of that loan, just as an example, would be $20,244. So that's interest paid out to the bank, doesn't include your principal, et cetera. If you're in a 33% tax bracket, the real savings of that to you, so you're gonna take the $20,244, you're gonna write that off against your income, but that's just a deduction. The actual savings to you is $6,680. Well, on a monthly basis, that's $556 that you have in your pocket or to put towards that monthly payment that you don't have otherwise if you're renting or you're not versed on what those tax deductions are to take advantage of. This is very powerful. I go over this with a lot of first time home buyers to show them, you know, they're paying 3,000 a month in rent and to go to 3,200 on a purchase, in a very similar situation as this and have that tax advantage is powerful. And that doesn't even account for the real estate tax advantage of writing off your real estate taxes as well. So make sure that you're aware of this. Um, and as you're going through, if you're looking to maybe upsize or downsize, understand what those tax implications are and take advantage of them so you can get as much back from Uncle Sam as possible. And for my investors out there who are interested in 1031 exchanges, I'm well versed on that. I've done them myself. It is a great mechanism to take advantage of rolling proceeds from one property into another without paying taxes on that. And now's the time to take advantage of it before it is gone. So if you have questions, let me know and good luck filing those tax returns. Take care.